Now, as a divorce attorney, you, you've seen it all. What's the number one thing that your clients say would have kept their relationship together? You know, the most common thing people say is, is that they wish they'd been honest with themselves and with their partner about what they needed in their head and what they needed in their heart. You know, they, they weren't honest with themselves and then they couldn't be honest with the other person and they couldn't share it with the other person. And by the time they get to my office, it's because these little raindrops built up to the flood, you know? All these little things just snowball for people. Yeah. Well, we've got some people in our audience here today with some relationship questions. Uh, where is Adelia? Adelia is married. What's your question? Hello. Hi. Hi, Adelia. So, I've been married for eight years and I love my family more than anything, but I feel like I'm constantly working. I work all day at my job. Um, I get home, I have to go pick up my daughter from school, I take her to ballet, and I make them dinner, and I get them ready for school the next day, and by the end of the day, I'm extremely exhausted. My husband's a really good man, but sometimes I feel trapped and tired. Do you have any advice? The fact that you're in touch with that feeling and you're open enough about it to in a room full of people to say it, is tremendous, and that puts you a step ahead of most people. Because most people in your situation, and, and I guarantee there are other women in this room who feel the same way as you. Mm -hmm. Because being a mom is incredibly hard work. It's the hardest job, you know? <laughs> and, and being a good partner to another person is a really hard job, whether it's a husband or a wife, right? So you've got a lot of jobs. So here's what I'd say to you, a couple things. Take a cue from divorced people, okay? There, there's not a lot of good things about being divorced, but one of the things that's good about being divorced is divorced people have time with their children and they have time away from their children, okay? They have their children for the weekend and then their children go to the other person maybe for the weekend, or at least they have a night where the other partner takes their kids out for dinner and they have a night to themselves, okay? You can make that happen in your day-to-day -day life. Divorced people shouldn't have all the fun when it comes to that, okay? <clears throat> And, and I'm not talking about doing a girl's night out once every three months where you go out and you, have, you let your hair loose. That's a great thing, there's a place for that. But you know, if, if I didn't work out ever and then I went to the gym for six hours one day, it's not helping. <laughs> right. It's not gonna, if you do 20 minutes a day, a couple days a week, it's gonna make a big difference. So what I'd say is work, you know, having, and you said your husband's a good man, right? Yeah, and and really so if he's a good man, he wants to support you. He wants to be there. He wants you to be the best you you can be, the woman he fell in love with. So what, what you might want to say to him is, look, on Wednesday nights, I need you to do the homework. I need you to do the dinner with the kids. And I'm going to go down to the, the coffee shop down the street with that magazine that, that came that I've been dying to read when the kids went to bed, but I ended up falling asleep before them. It can just be going someplace for an hour and just being yourself. And trust me, if your husband's the good man that you said he is, when, when you come back refreshed, and you come back feeling good, he's gonna be thrilled. He's gonna be happy. Thank you. 100%. I like that. All right, where, where's Morgan? You have a money question? <laughs> yeah, hi. So my last boyfriend threw money around like crazy. He had a fancy car. He wore only designer clothes. Uh, he wined and dined me at all the fanciest restaurants, most expensive restaurants in town. And it was really fun for a while until I found out that he was deeply in debt and was living off of credit cards. And my credit got badly damaged in the process. Now, I've been with a new guy and it's starting to get serious and he's building his business. And so he's moving from the ground up and I really believe in him. I believe he's going to be successful but I am a little nervous, and I'm wanting to know how I can protect myself in a relationship where money is concerned. You know, other than cheating, uh, money issues are the major reason why people split up. That's why people end yeah. up in my office. Um, so I will definitely say to you that, that it's great your radar is up about that stuff and that you're paying attention. Um, if it's a new enough relationship, now's the time. It's like the engaged couple, you know, now's the time to start these good habits. Think about if when you 
first bought a car, from the day you bought it, you did all the preventative maintenance the mechanics told you to do. That car, you could have that car forever, right? Yeah. So early in this relationship, while he's starting his business, while you're starting this, this partnership together, before you're married, before you move in, before you have the stress that comes with kids and, and a mortgage and all those other things, now's the time to start having financial conversations with him. Now's the time to say to him, tell him that story. Tell him what happened. Tell him that you were burned by this other person. And maybe explain to him that, listen, I'm more impressed right now by stability and responsibility. That's sexier to me yeah. than flashy cars. Yeah, it is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's also going to show him that he can share with you and talk to you openly about money and talk to you openly about his money stresses and your joint partnership. And it's so much easier to keep things on track than for things to go completely off track and then try to drag them back the other way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's a real partnership. If you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.